God, it's so nice to be in here when there's nobody here because it's home. It's a home for us. This chair is a home for me. It's home up there on stage and, and in our voice family environment. And it's just really nice to come to when it's quiet. And, you know, it's really peaceful, actually. It's a really nice feeling. I think that time in this studio when no one's around, I kind of recommend it for my artists because I think then you get to become familiar with the energy of the space and, and it's really nice. It, there's something very peaceful and knowing that a lot of people are going to be in here again, it sort of gives you a, a, a centre, I guess. I mean, when we start straight at the blind auditions, um, discovering all the artists and, and that anticipation of who is behind us. So I think the real premises of, of that it bonds the four of us sitting here because we're kind of in it together. We're going, everybody else knows what's behind us and we don't. And it's kind of this invisible bond that makes us have so much fun and, and brings us to a place where that excitement and that adrenaline of hitting our buzzer for somebody behind us, where then we discover this artist and, and, and all the moments then seeing who we're going to be spending quite a few months with and who will end up being a part of our a, a part of our life and and in those moments you never know who's going to make an impact on your life or or who's going to become now a musical friend along the way and it's really nice yeah i think i think saving steve was one of the biggest moments kind of this year with me in this chair the second i saw the pianos on stage and then i mean the song even has my name in it like it was just so bizarre but I, I mean, you get strong callings when you're in the chair and you, 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 when you can zone out everything and hear really clearly your own gut instinct um, amongst all the noise, that's when it's really special. It's all up to you now whether this guy stays in the competition or not. You have five seconds when your buzzer starts flashing to save Steve. I just knew something, I just knew something was going to happen and, that, and that's why I tell Steve that I felt like angels were watching over him and I felt like they were watching over me too. This space means to me so much, it feels so different to last year, but then it could just be that you change so much from one year to the next and I think you keep the same value system, but that doesn't change, it's just that you, um, I feel like the voice has been, you know, like everyone has said, a, a life changing experience for us as well.